We will discuss whether the housing market is having a meltdown and what's going on. So this is something that uh, we've been getting quite often um, in our inboxes. Is there going to be a crash, a recession? Is it going to be 2008 all over again? So as quickly as mortgage rates are rising, the once red housing market is finally cooling off. Home prices are still historically high, of course, but there is concern now that they will also ease up. All of this has people asking, is today's housing market the same as the predicament that happened over a decade ago when the 2007-2008 crash caused the Great Recession? The short answer is absolutely not. America's housing market is in far better health today and that's thanks in part to new lending regulations that resulted from the meltdown, actually. So lending has become much, much stricter. And those rules put today's borrowers on a far firmer footing. Lenders have been much more strict with uh, lending, of course, which is reflected in credit quality. For the 53.5 million first lien home mortgages in America today, the average borrower's FICO score is around 751 FICO score. It was 699 in 2010, two years after the financial sector meltdown. Home prices have soared, of course, as well, due to the pandemic fuel demand over the past two years. That gives today's homeowners record amounts of home equity. So-called tappable equity, the amount of cash a borrower can take out of their home while still leaving 20% equity on paper. That hit a record high of $11 trillion collectively this year, according to Black Knight. That's a 34% increase from a year ago. At the same time, leverage, which is how much debt the homeowner has against the home's value, has fallen dramatically. Total mortgage debt in the United States is less than 43% of the current home's value. The lowest on record. Crazy, right? Yes, 100%. Negative equity is virtually non-existent when a borrower owes more on the loan than the home is worth. Compare that to the more than one in four borrowers underwater in 2011. Only 2.5% of borrowers have less than 10% home equity in their house right now. All of this provides a considerable cushion should home prices actually fall. Home buyers are facing worsening affordability. That is our biggest concern right now. With mortgage rates hovering around the highest in over a decade, mortgage delinquencies are now at a record low, of course, with just under 3% of the mortgages past due. Even with the sharp jump in failures during the first year of the pandemic, there are fewer past due mortgages than before. Pandemic-related mortgage forbearance programs helped millions of borrowers recover, but there are still 645,000 borrowers in those programs. Now, take a look at what Andy Walden said. He is the uh, vice president of Black Knight. The mortgage market is on solid footing. And the reason why I say this is because these individuals or this individual entity invest millions and millions of dollars in the mortgage industry, into real estate. So if they are saying that it's solid... I think that um, we should feel a little bit more comfortable in, in still continuing to get into real estate or purchasing a house. So even the millions of homeowners who have helped themselves of forbearance during the pandemic have been performing well since leaving their forbearances. So this still means that they are in a healthy place. There are, however, about 300,000 borrowers who have exhausted pandemic-related forbearances programs and are still delinquent, which is normal. In addition, while mortgage delinquencies are still historically low, they have been trending higher lately, especially for recent loan originators. We've been seeing this. Uh, it's slowed down because of the affordability. Mortgage credit availability is well below where it was before the pandemic, according to the Mortgage Bankers Association, suggesting still tight standards. But lenders have lost about half of their business since rates began rising, which could mean that they have become more aggressive in lending to less creditworthy borrowers. So what does this mean? This means that a lender is willing to overlook certain things, whether it's a late payment or whether it's the lower FICO score. 
they are willing to say, hey, look, this individual has some compensating factors. Let's still allow him to be approved for this home loan. Let's finance his home loan. So that is essentially what this means. The biggest problem we see in Las Vegas is, like I said before, home affordability. While inventory is starting to rise, it is still about half of the pre-pandemic levels. Now, I want to touch on this because it, it's not that the market is going to crash or that we're going to see a recession. Uh, with, it's tying into the uh, lending space or the mortgage space and real estate space. It's that interest rates have risen and also the value of homes have risen, causing it to be more expensive and of course less affordable in certain areas to buy a house so the individual that was waiting for the crash during the pandemic when interest rates were at two and a half to three and a half percent now is facing higher real estate prices and higher interest rates so if they're already iffy about the lower interest rates and the higher prices now they have higher prices and higher interest rates which essentially prices them out of the market. Once we get more inventory, this will eventually cool home price growth. We have seen higher housing costs max out some buyers' budgets and sometimes prices them out of the market. Like I said, those who remain in the market can look forward to relatively less competition conditions later in the year. So we are seeing now that sellers are giving huge incentives, whether it's a seller credit, whether it's marking the property, whether it's including the, the entire furniture, all of the utility, all of the appliances, they are understanding that it's a it's turning into a buyer's market. Right now is the best time to purchase a home if you can't afford a home, of course, and if you are in a good place to purchase a home. Is there going to be a meltdown? No, there isn't going to be a meltdown. Have things changed? Absolutely things have changed. Have new builders eased up on building uh, new homes? Yes, they have. They are going into now building multiple unit properties. So like a two, three, four uh, unit property instead of single family residents. But that is not going to cause a meltdown because we are still in a very healthy market as we speak. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this podcast informative and useful, please hit the like and subscribe and share this with a family member or friend who might find this useful. Thank you so much for tuning in.